He sneaks his back. Yeah. The cough is gone. Yeah, the cough's gone. I can actually start doing videos now. God, it went on forever and ever. But if you're little children, and you like working with little children in little schools, this is what happens. You get all the diseases they bring to school. And I'm not so young anymore, so it takes a bit of time to get rid of them. Anyway, today's video is about 3D printing again. Now, you remember a while, little while ago I done a, um, a live stream about 3D printing. I thought some people quite enjoyed it. That's okay. Super duper. So, 3D printing slicing. Now, what is slicing? Okay. A slicing software is where it actually takes the, your image apart and makes it printable. Okay. Now, in Linux, there's quite a few things we can do here. You don't have to run Windows to run a 3D printer at the end of the day. We have lots and lots of stuff to use. And I'm going to go f uh, through a few things with you tonight, or today, or whatever time you're watching the video. I'm going to go, okay. So we'll go here, and my first one is Slicer. Now, I thought I lost this. I installed it, and I thought, oh, where's it gone? I thought I lost it. Slicer is free. It's not the best in the world, but it does some quite good things, okay? Then we have Cura. Now, Cura is made by Ultimaker, which makes their own printers. But they don't actually hang on to the stuff, okay? You can just download it and put your printer's specifications into it, and it will print for you and slice for you, okay? Another free one for you is, the new one is Idea Maker. Now, I've been playing with this. Hmm, yeah, I have. It looks really, really interesting. For a free slicer for 3D printing, it looks really, really good, okay? And the one I use mainly, this is a paid one, okay? A paid one. This is Simplify 3D, okay? And it is really, 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 really good. And that's why you pay the £100 for it at the end of the day. But some of these other ones, Idea Maker, are actually catching up, okay? So anyway, we go back to our window, and I'll show you what I mean. Oh, yeah, got me in the corner there. Hey, oh, I'm in the corner. Thank you. So we're going to open up Cura for you first, okay? There we go. It's a PPA, okay, so you just download the PPA onto your Linux distribution, and off it will go. It does take a little bit of time, like, we've not got eight cores here, and it's taken ages and ages and ages, can you see? Okay. As you can see, I've got a bit of a drinkage here. Yeah? Now, I don't actually like the setup of this, personally, but maybe I'll need to use it a bit more to do stuff. So I've set my one of my main printers here, the Flash 4 Dreamer, and what you normally do is import your stuff. So open file. We would go to. So I've got the parts drawer already open. So go to the drawer. And there's a little drawer. I can't. That's better. Okay. But the controls are completely different from the other slicers. Now this is a drawer that goes into a little cabinet, basically, to store stuff. Okay. Stuff like electronics parts, like resistors, capacitors, and stuff like that. It looks okay. Okay. I'm not going to go through anything else with you. It does work, and it does give some fine prints, okay? Although I've not actually used it with my Dreamer. Okay. okay. I've used it with a Trinus, but not with a Dreamer. Okay. So that's that one out of the way. But the next one would be Idea Maker. Now, this is a newbie on the block, okay? So it's basically made by these guys that make these printers, the Rays, okay? Or the Idea Printer. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cancel that I'll just show you the slicing software it looks really really fantastic so you use your mouse wheel to go in and out this is really familiar it's really really like uh simply 3d when you're using it can you see it gives you the shortcuts here can you see that so if i had a a bulbasaur so it's a pikachu thing I, you know I, yeah no no the kids love, love these sort of things so there's my little bulbasaur okay it looks okay, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Not too bad. So how would I slice that? Okay, I don't, you know, I don't know. I've never used it before. So it's a tiny, tiny little model. So I'll go to Slice. Start the slice. And we're going to do it in the standard PLA. PLA is a biodegradable most of the time. So that'd be ideal for you. So go Slice. We're done. Okay, let's preview it. We're previewing the slice. It looks okay. So if we go here, we can see how it's actually going to print. 
And when we do this, we can actually see if there's going to be any uh, errors in the print. Can you see? So it looks okay. Now, I've been having a few errors printing this in a small scale, not on large, funny enough. But maybe on my, nozzle, my nozzle needs changing. Okay. And it should come at a little point here. Now, what's been happening in my prints is this bit up here has been going a bit there. Okay. So I might give my nozzle a bit of a clean. But as you can see, that's how it's going to print. Okay. See what it does. Yeah, I like it. Nice. Nice. And it's free, because we like free. Yes, I want to exit. Now, I installed Slicer, and I thought I lost it. But it just didn't give me a... Uh... No, I'll show you a minute. It's here, look. Slicer is here, yes. It didn't give me a, uh, an icon, so I can click on it. So, click on here, Slicer 3. And here is Slicer. Now, not... This is really, really common software, okay? Really, really common Put your print settings up here, so default, default, default. You have to make your own things up as you go along. So if you've got no money and you've got a printer that you've just bought as a kit, you have to put the specifications in here for your printer, okay? So you have the printer settings, the filament, and the printer itself. So there's no printers there. There was there will never be any printers there. You've got to install them yourself, okay? So I'll just put my uh, height, width, and length, etc. etc. Nozzles I'm using, etc. etc. Okay, you can go now. Bye. Bye. You can go now. Now, this is Simplifier 3D. Okay, this is the pay one. Now, I know you're saying, oh, pay, pay, pay. Sometimes you do have to pay for stuff. I know. I know. I don't like doing it, but hey. So I'm going to put my Dreamer next and finish. Okay. And in theory, it should come up. And there you go. Just my little thing again. Hmm. So, so I didn't want that there. I want to show you something a bit different. Okay. So we're going to remove that. Go to new. I don't want to save. I'm going to import something else from my print section. Okay. So we here have a, an SD card holder, which I've printed three of, I think. And they're really, really useful, actually. And you'll see in a minute. Okay. Look at that. You got up here for your main uh, SD cards, here for your USBs, and here for your micro USB. So I'll scroll in. Looks okay, doesn't it? Okay. So we need to add a process. Okay. So we'll go to add. Now I'm going to print it in PLA because it's cheap and easy and super. Okay. And I'm going to show advanced. No, oh, I don't want to do it. Go back. So anyway. So I'm going to use a right extruder only, okay, because that's my PLA one. My nozzle diameter is 0.4, which is standard. I must change it really soon though, by the way. And what else we got? Oh yeah, okay. So layers. So I've got three solid top layers. Outline perimeters has got two, and the bottom solid layers are three. So it's nice and chunky, but not too much infill, okay. Additions. There's a skirt. Just to give my nozzle a chance, really. It, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't need no support. Infill, as it says, 20% there. Okay. Now, temperature. Okay. My extruder. Oh, and that's a bit too hot. What? That's changed to ABS. Let's go back to PLA. Okay. Thank you. Right, extruder. 210 for the filament I'm using at the moment. It extrudes well at 210, 212. Okay. Um, and my build tack has died, so I'm actually printing with a bit of heat on the bed. At 60, 55, 60, it should be okay. So what we do here, we prepare to print. Blah, 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 blah. There you go. Look at that. So I'm going to change this to line. Go back. And go for it for you. And that's how it's going to print. And this is how you can see if you're going to get any errors, basically, at the end of the day. Now, it says 2 hours, 25 minutes. Yeah, you could get that a bit shorter if you wanted to, but it's in type two. The Dreamer is not a really fast printer. I've had it nearly two years now, so it's not current of the bunch. If you've got a CR10, it'll flash through this, no problem. But as you can see, the Dreamer is a workhorse. It doesn't like to be turned off, basically, at the end of the day. If you turn it off, I have to do three semi-prints, basically, to get it to run right. Oh, no. But yeah, some 3D printing slicing software that you can use on Linux. I know. There's plenty out there. Plenty, plenty, plenty. 
And don't forget, you can also build your own printers. No big deal, is it? Sneaky. I think so. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.